In this video, I'm going to talk about hybridization. So, in chemistry, hybridization is basically a mix of orbitals. And I'll be talking about the three main orbitals, the, the three main hybrid orbitals, sp3, sp2, and sp. Of course, there are more hybrid orbitals, but these are the three most common ones. So, before getting into those orbitals, it's good to define what a hybrid is. So a hybrid is a is the result from a mix of two different species. You could just think of it a very practical example. You could say, if in dogs, when you when two different types of dogs breed, the there is a hybrid, and it has a different name. So you could just think of a golden retriever. and a poodle when they breed they're gonna produce a hybrid that's called a that's called a golden doodle so it has part of of each of the dog's name so you could think of that as in chemist for chemistry as in hybridization instead of dogs they're orbitals so you would have an S orbital and a P orbital forming an SP orbital or two one, one S orbital and two P orbitals forming an SP2 and three P orbitals one S orbital forming an SP3 and well that's the main idea of hybridization let's talk about each of them separately now so the first one I mentioned was the sp3 hybrid orbital and because it has three piece it is 75 percent p character and 25 percent s character and as you an S orbital was a sphere and a P orbital was a dumbbell. So taking the the percentages into account, what you usually get for an S P T orbital is this. So what you can see in the picture is oh like just omit the numbers for now. That doesn't I'll talk about that later. Uh, that just think of it as the shape. We said that the P the P orbital was a dumbbell and I'm going to switch this up so it doesn't confuse you so the P is this one this one and the S is the sphere so it will mostly look like a dumbbell because it's 75 percent dumbbell but it has a sphere uh, it has a sphere touch you could say right here so it makes the dumbbell not as long but the main the main character is the P orbital. And what these numbers mean right here are the angles. The angle between each of the bonds is a hundred and nine point five degrees. And this is very important. When you draw a molecule like let's say this you put them as far away as you can, right? The bonds. But truly, what you're looking at, let me fix this hydrogen, is not that. This looks like a 90 degree, right? In each of them. But for, a, for an orbital that is sp3, this angle will be 109.5 degrees. So the correct way to draw this is by putting a little distance between them like this and of course if you're thinking of a of perspective 
you you can put the the wedges in like this and this but for now that doesn't matter so when some when the molecule is SPG hybridized it's 109.5 degrees make sure to remember and well there are four bonded atoms in an sp3 hybridized and I will talk about shape in the following video in this video I'm just going to go over the main idea of hybridization so just the main idea of sp3, sp2 and sp so now let's talk about sp2 hybridization the sp2 hybrid orbital orbital and that one looks like it's so before that it's 50 percent I'm sorry for that it's 66 percent 66 percent P character and 33 percent S character and an sp2 hybridized orbital will look like this so you can see that the lobes are not as long as the ones in the sp3 because there's more s character now of course there's less p character so they take a little bit more spherical shape but they're they're still lobes because it's a, it, the dominant character is p and in this case the angles between them is 120 degrees well, as you can see from the picture, it tends to form a triangular shape. And one more thing about sp2 hybridization is that it is bonded to three atoms. Unlike what happened to sp2, which was four. So the last hybridization or hybrid orbital is the SP in which it's 50% S character and 50% P character and it just looks like this so you can see that we have our S orbital here P orbital here and when it hybridizes it has a small end that's the S character and a big end that's the P character and you can just represent it as this just the dumbbells pretty much and well because you can just represent it with a line it's going to be 180 degrees between each of the atoms and finally it will be bonded to two different to two atoms and well that's it for hybridization I will be talking about the names for for the geometry of the following video and if you found the video helpful like it and share it with your friends